So I'm going to share my thoughts on Tekken 7, which is a game that I started playing yesterday online for the first time in my life. Before that, I didn't used to play this, and I figured out some of the flaws that a game of this caliber actually has. And I know I'm going to probably, you know, hurt some people when I say this, but... Um, what is real is real, unfortunately. So... Actually, I have to quit this game for some reason. My... My controller wasn't working. So I'll restart the game. And we're going to play some online matches. Hopefully we'll find some. So... Tekken 7... Has become a game about memorization memorizing your characters uh, punishers now, if you're a Tekken 7 fan you'll probably know what punishers are that means the person who executes the punishers properly essentially wins the game so I, I do not know whether they had Punishers in Tekken 3, but I never, at least I never got introduced to Punishers during that game. In my opinion, this is a horrible design because um, if you are, if, if you have ended your attack, you should be able to block any incoming attack if you press, um, if, you, if you press the back button or the block button, or there should have been a dedicated block button to block attacks and a person who fails to block an attack should be the one who actually gets the attack that's also something that we do in real fighting there are counters in in uh, in real life however there are no counters in Tekken 7. There is a counter system, but it, it's not really a counter that uh, we see in real life. The kind of counter is that I see in Tekken is that if I'm like, for example, punching like this, if the other per person's punch lands before mine, it's called a counter. That is not a counter. A counter is basically when somebody's hitting you, you counter that with your own punch. So the 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 punch lands essentially no sorry the punch goes or the kick goes and you counter that with your own move so if i if somebody's attacking high att i attack low or duck and i hit him that is actually a counter and over here they have a punisher system now i'm going up against this guy i probably won't win because i'm not uh, very very good at this game but uh, i went I I basically played against somebody who was uh, continuously using punishers. And I was surprised. I was like, why can't I block anything? And uh, that is a flawed design because punisher, the design, is extremely difficult for a newbie to understand. And now, right now, this is a combo. This is fine. I mean, this is this is the good thing about Tekken. And right now, I'm basically talking and speaking, so I'm not playing very well. By the way, I've never played against this character. Never played against this uh, sumo guy, I think. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I, sh I should have basically... Uh, Yeah, that was bad. This is not good. Uh, let me concentrate on this match and then I'm going to actually start speaking. This guy's gonna lose easily this in this round. It wasn't even like, I, I'm, because I'm talking, I wasn't concentrating properly. This guy's gonna be... I think going to be pretty easy to beat because of his uh, pattern it's very it's very easy so you see that that thing that just happened 
that was basically me trying to attack but his attacks are landing before mine now I do not know whether this is a this is actually a problem with uh, with Haorang but I believe that if I have understood like if a person is continuously attacking I should be able to counter that person so you can see that even though I'm launching my attacks first for some reason this is a problem with Haorang I do not know whether it is but you can see I was coming for an attack and I immediately his attack landed before mine I do not know whether this is this is a kind of like a flaw in Tekken or this is a flaw in Haorang but this is a horrible design where you have actually initiated your attack first and the other person lands you the attack before before you that is absolutely horrible design and uh, people who probably this guy's played a lot of Tekken because this is just my second day and I used to play Tekken 3 so they have really changed the game a lot for another thing too that you see with by the way this is the combo that I use and I'm gonna pro beat this guy pretty easily if I, if I just concentrate Oh, that was a parry, by the way. And again, see, see what I was uh, talking about. Like, I, I had my attack land. Uh, I had my, I had initiated my attack first. This guy's just basically mashing buttons. Again, again, probably a problem with Haorang. I do not know. And again, then again, this is also a design flaw. You saw that where I, uh, where I was attacking with a spin attack and and oh um so uh, actually if I, if I was talking this guy would have been pretty easy to beat Oh, now he's uh, starting lagging. I think this is, he, this guy's a lag switch, I think. So this is the kind of like game that I'm used to, like where, where you're actually, you know, you sidestep attacks. It's not about, now this guy, he launches deck first. He should, she should have got that, that hit. And again, there's so many flaws in this game so so many flaws and again I sidestep I shouldn't have I shouldn't have get, gotten hit by that attack <laughs> I was kicking and his punch was uh, like closer than my kick that is that is such a weird game that is so weird how can a kick be closer than a punch a kick a kick is a kick is kind of uh, it is supposed to be a long range attack so th this is not i mean I, I don't understand why this why is it so that they have made the game so gamey it's 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 horrible like you can actually take a look at this i that kick of mine that kick right it has to have a longer range than the punch That was a legit attack. Actually, I do not know about this guy's attack either. Oh my god, I'm gonna get absolutely screwed. That wasn't a very damaging attack. Why has he started lagging? Is this guy a hacker? I really need to know how to deal with this sumo guy. Why? 
is he starting to lag a bit? Lag like that? I don't understand. Like whenever I hit, he. Oh yeah, I think this guy is using some kind of uh, some kind of uh, l like a. This guy's actually pretty easy to beat. But uh, still, the game itself is like. S like, I launched my attack first. Th that, 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 that's, not, that's not a good thing. That, I launched my attack first. That was another flaw in the game, if you didn't see that. That was a flaw in the game where. By the way, in real life, you can definitely finish somebody if you attack the leg like that. Again, uh, like I was launched, this is the, that that's the Punisher system, which is which is horrible. Counter, you can counter my attacks when I'm attacking, then can counter it at the same time. This is this. This is such a bad, a bad design, really. I'm gonna try the Punisher. <laughs> okay, so his power attack landed before mine. Okay, I can I can understand that that Punisher was fine because my back was turned. That that I can understand, but other than that, I mean this is this is ridiculous. The Punisher system is absolutely ridiculous, where you are basically uh, waiting for the other person's uh, frame to finish, and uh, at that time you can attack. This is this is not how fighting works. In fighting, you can block, you can, basically, you should have a defensive, you can defend after you attack. So when you attack, there you, you have other places where you can defend, you can back away, you can do many things. Th uh, this game is just about learning when the other person stops attacking, then you can attack instead of countering his attack or moving behind their attack. And all the attacks that I do, I don't even consider punishers, although I can, I do know some finishers uh, some punishers like the uppercut that Haorang uses but it's it's just ridiculous i mean if i had a fighting game i would not design it like this now i'm not i'm going to stop talking i'm going to beat this guy hopefully and then i'm going to start speaking again
such a stupid game. Like I, have, I literally have to use punishers to, basically, to win, which is such a horrible design, really. All right, so this is uh, like this rage attack that he did. I can accept that because uh, he did it during my attack, not after I attacked him, you know? So this guy's really, I mean, the re uh, this guy is easy to beat. It's just that I wasn't concentrating properly. But what I'm saying is, is that uh, it's... Most of the attacks that that person was getting does not make sense in, a, in a, like if this was a real fight. It doesn't make sense at all. That's the reason why I don't uh, like, like that. The, a good fighting game, just letting you know, should be about if a person is attacking, then you either move somewhere on this side and then attack during their attack. Not, not like another... like. It's not about after you finish your attack, there is a window in which you can attack the other person. That's not, that's not how fighting works. Because usually when, when I jab or when I fight in real life, I do, after my attack, I'm usually doing a defensive move and there is no defensive move option in Tekken, which is horrible. Like after an attack, there should have been a defensive move option, uh, a bobbing, weaving, something along those lines. So this is the punishment system is such a horrible design. It's all about the person. It's all about memorization. Like when a person does something, then you do, uh, you wait for the last frame and then you start attacking. This is horrible, absolutely horrible. <laughs> 